All right, so we're up here in the freestyle barn. We got the curb all set up. Uh, it's kind of dark, but this is it's all boarded up. We had a two by six on the bottom and a two by eight on top. So we're gonna do about five and a half inches of concrete uh, for the floor here. And then the curb will be seven and a half or almost eight inches high. So we, we can't see down in there, but we put a piece of rebar uh, going out. All right, we just got done pouring the curb and we went around and rounded off the edges. It's six inches wide and 14 inches high. And then we'll put uh, five and a half inches of cement in here for the floor. So that's the way she turned out. Put another curb on the other side and we'll be all set to go. Turned out pretty decent, I think. It was three and a half yards for uh, the total length, which is 168 feet. So it's a rainy day here. We're just getting the other side formed up. We've got one curb poured. We pulled off all the forms this morning. And we got the rebar sticking out. That's just gonna hold everything together in the middle. So this side's poured and ready. This side here, we're getting formed up and we'll be ready tomorrow morning. Okay, so we got one curb board. We got this side all formed up. And we put the rebar in here and then we'll pour the middle full, but we're gonna form up and pour this curb next. So we got rebar in there and zip tied down and then we have another piece of rebar we'll throw in as we're pouring. It's about four yards on each each curb. So we got the load coming in about 10-15 minutes here. set up for a couple days and we'll pull everything strip all the boards off of it and be ready to go